Hello and welcome to Sheba Online Classes. Standard 6 children. Today I will be taking uh, revision video. That is very soon you are going to write your exam, isn't it? So revision is very very necessary for you to revise all the portions, whatever you, whatever video class you have seen, isn't it? So whatever homework you have done is very very one important. That is why after every video class, whatever homework is given to you, if you do it only, then you will remember a lot of uh, thing, uh, homework. That is whatever you did question answers, you will remember. So a short uh, that is, I will just give you a recap of whatever you have done. Okay, first look at the board and see the portions what are given to you. Portions for the exam are that is prose. You have unit one, sport. That is term two book, unit one, sports stars. In sports stars, there are how many uh, uh, sports stars we discussed about? One is Dure Raj Mitali, and she is a cricketer. Second, that is Kabaddi Usharani, uh, Kabaddi player, and then uh, badminton P V Sindhu. Right. Each one's uh, um, that is uh, we've got about there what how they started and how how many awards they've got. So please go through it, re give a reading, read it fully. You'll, you'll be getting uh, meanings, opposites, and short answers from there, right? All the meanings, opposites, and short answers. If they have asked differently, so please go through it. Learn the all the uh, meanings, book back exercises. There are so many fill ups, there are choose, and so many things are there. A lot of exercises are given to you. Please go through it fully, right? Okay, the next one is we are going to uh, po in poetry unit one. It's called the teamwork. In teamwork again, we'll be having question answers. Okay, and or whatever book back is there behind, no, we just go through it, right? Uh, the next uh, finally, this time we are going to have supplementary also. Okay, in supplementary unit one, think to win. Okay, think to win that uh, about Rucha. How she used to, uh, we have to think to win another one. Full story is given now about her. The, even that, uh, how many characters are there? All those uh, that, that is uh, the teamwork, the relay team, and how Prakash sir helped her, and how she got and uh, got that confidence to win, right? All that. Okay, please go through the read, read the lesson once, read it like one story. Okay, because any small small any fillups may be asked out of portion also can be out of portion means from the content. Okay, from the content, you don't depend only on the book back exercise. You should know the content also. All right, go through the content. Just give a reading. Reading, you will uh, do it very well. And then afterwards, finally, we come to grammar part. Grammar, what you've learnt is adjectives, right? We learnt about adjective, adjectives, and finally, all the the total book back exercise, unit one, prose, poetry, and supplementary book back exercise. Whatever is given to you, please go uh, read it, right? And now for adjectives. For uh, for your um, grammar, you have got adjectives only. Nothing else is given to you. Uh, grammar part is very limited. So whatever uh, adjective uh, um, that exercise are given, no, uh, we have after the prose lesson, only that will be coming for you. Okay. So what is uh, first? I want to explain to you what are adjectives. Okay. What are adjectives? Adjectives are describing words, right? Describing words mean what? For example, say beautiful, wonderful, uh, very pleasant weather. Uh, that is and then it's a rainy day rainy also uh, describing the weather right uh, it's very hot okay so all that is there oh, such a beautiful sari my mom got a beautiful sari uh, my my sister is very fair so all that is then uh, they're describing okay now in that words in your book page number uh, 95 page number 95 you've got a table there one where there are two or more adjectives together they appear in following order it's given there in that there is they are dividing the adjectives into quantity, quality, and then we have uh, age, color, and description. Even occupation is there, but that is not given to you now. Okay, in your higher classes, you'll be learning about it. Now here, color also. Color means how? What is given there? Purple. Uh, I am wearing a purple sari. Okay, that means purple is the color, isn't it? So purple is a uh, uh, describing the sari. So even that is uh, what's that? Color is also a describing. And next we talk about age, the old, young, uh, that is a teenage, all that is telling about the age. See, given the old, young, adult, uh, child. Okay. And next we talk about quantity. Quantity means what? What is quantity? 1, 2, 3, 4, first, second, third, fourth, uh, kg, so many kgs, uh, kilos, grams, all that is there. No, that is also quantity. Okay. Quantity that is how much measurable quantities, whatever is there, that is also known as uh, thing what's it uh, quantity and then finally we come to quality 
what is quality quality and person's opinion it can be quality of a person a quality and the honest that 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 girl is a very honest girl okay kind hearted we say no that's also a quality so that is brave great amazing beautiful wonderful all these kind of uh, describing words so these are all uh, it comes under describe that uh, adjectives see the page number your page number that is uh, 94 they given pictorial ways hot tea beautiful flower two dice and then bald head uh, learned graduate type so that is we have got uh, two dice bald head learned graduate tired man so look at the pictures in that you can understand how you can describe the uh, picture accordingly and then then uh, just below there you can see page number 94 uh, look at the picture and fill in the blanks with suitable words what is that there is a what is given there dash ground in my school how is the ground in your school it is such a huge ground you got no such a huge ground in my school okay and then the dash sky looks beautiful at night how does the sky look at, at night so calm and peaceful uh, like this cool you can say the sky looks the dark black sky the the sky the da- dark sky looks beautiful at night okay the next the then the tree has dash vegetables it's your own words also you can don't have to go to the guide and write it this all the your own words you can use okay like the, your own description of the picture okay next is the the dash uh, the tree has dash vegetables how many vegetables you got so many vegetables so you can name them also how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 six vegetables okay because adjective is also of quantity quantity of vegetables that is you can number it there are in the basket there are how many vegetables there are nine different types of vegetables or six whatever is given there okay then next one it has a it is a dash day what is it what is given in the picture it is a sunny day okay see the sun you can see and she is having a umbrella in her hand okay it's a sunny day then the ga- the girl gave her friend a dash smile what kind of a smile a sweet smile a uh, okay, okay a lovingly she smiled at her so like anything you can write and so okay the next one next page we have got page number 94 95 refer to a dictionary for the meaning and circle the odd one okay now circle the odd one odd one is what which is not pertaining to the word given now the word given is what tiny okay what's the meaning of tiny tiny means small isn't it so here small little puny are all same words now which is the odd one out enormous what is the opposite of tiny enormous enormous means huge big large okay so the odd one is enormous and next ample what is ample ample means it is plentiful okay fine it is not now what is the gre- uh, great plentiful generous now what can be the uh, that is um, opposite of that ample it is great so you have to take it off that take off that word next kind what is the opposite uh, what is the uh, thing uh, same words here what you are doing is just take the opposite so opposite only is the odd one isn't it meanings are given to you the opposite only is the odd one so odd is what's your kind kind is concerned charitable gentle is a meaning and what's the odd one there harsh okay so harsh you have to circle right and then honest what's the meaning of honest honesty say so this the existence reliable trusty sincere is all meanings for honest so what is the opposite of honesty deceitful so always you must always these kind of words now when you say odd one out you say you just take the opposite of it right okay next one is cheerful what is the meaning of cheerful it is bright then you are uh, gay you are uh, contented right and now what is the opposite of it bright dull dull another one word low okay feeling very low means i am feeling very bored very very dull very sad so that is known as low got that now so these are the words which are going to uh, describe description adjectives right so the all or the most of the revision has been done and let's go to the back that is uh, book back book back is page number 91 there is a uh, one uh, tick the meaning of the italicized words I, that is meaning is asked for you you have to select the meaning okay now what is the privilege being compared to sachin is an absolute privilege means what it is a uh, that is honor as one person is who was compared to thing uh, uh, that is mitali was compared to sachin isn't it but then what she said no no i don't want to be compared because such a big legend 
but being compared to Sachin is a honor, right? So what's the answer there? Honor is the answer. So you must always listen. Listen. What is given? The lesson only. Mainly they'll be asking for you for your uh, meanings and opposites, right? Okay. Now see the boy was taken by surprise when he learnt about Mitali Durai Raj. So what he was surprised means what? Astonished. So what is amazed? He was amazed. Okay. So next is Usharani. Who is Usharani? She is a kabaddi player. Okay. Had taken, had to struggle all through her life. Struggle. What's her struggle? She was. She had to uh, fight. That is, she all through her life she had to fight to get to her that kind of position what she came up to, right? And then is uh, next is uh, so many. No opponent is too big to defeat. Who is the opponent here? The competitor. Okay, the comp that is who is going to who you are going to opponent also can be enemy. Okay, who you are going to a rival or enemy. So this is kind of a this meaning also you have to learn and turn the page to how what word is given to you. What word is given to you there that you have to pick out the in the bracket. That word opposite you must write. This is the first one I'll tell you. We should learn from our success is given. What's the opposite of success? Failure. Okay, got that? Interesting book, uninteresting book or boring books can also can write. So like that start, the teacher asked the children to start talking. That is what's the meaning of start? Opposite of start is to end. Okay, to conclude. So like that it is going on. There are so many are given to you. Go through the, all the uh, book back exercise. Learn about each sports star. Separate separately. Separate separate question answers are given to you. So go through it. Okay. That is about Mitali Durai Raj. And then about uh, Usharani the Kabaddi player. And PV Sindhu. That separate separate uh, question answers are given. Separate glossary is given to you. Please go through it and learn it properly. And get good marks for your uh, exam. And for the poem, see that that is a teamwork. The teamwork poem, the book back ex uh, exercises. You have got the question: What is rhyming words? Pick out the rhyming words. That four lines from the poem will be given to you. Okay. See the here they have given one poem lesson D exercise. Four lines from the poem will be given to you. From there, the question will be asked. In one of the questions will be pick out the rhyming words. Okay, rhyming words. How where will you pick out? Do nothing from the inside the lines. It should be to the end of the line. Each line there will be an end, no one one word given to you. From there only you must select the uh, pick out the rhyming words. So now here is given the score or these two are rhyming. Okay, these two are rhyming. So how will you write the answer? Score hyphen or. Okay, and the next is seam team. These two are rhyming. So again, what you're going to write is seam hyphen team. Got that down. This is how you write. You are going to write the rhyming words. The so next thing I am asking is rhyming scheme. How will you write the rhyming scheme? Rhyming scheme is always denoted by A, B, C, D, E. It goes on. Everything should be in small letters only, not in capital letters. Okay? Should be in small letters, not in capital letters. Again, I am repeating it. So now rhyming rhyming words, you know. So which is our rhyming words? You know, no. Now for that, say, keeping that in mind only, you must apply the rhyming scheme. Rhyming scheme is what? Is alphabets there? How which? What letters? Small letters. Now got this now. Score. You take it as A. Okay. Now score and seam. Does it match? Does it rhyme? No. So we take it as B. Now here, score and or match. Score or same sound, same rhyming words. So you take whatever letters given here. I did here only. See, so got it now. Now next is what team. Team and seam matches. Okay, team and seam has got the same rhyming. That is the sound is the same. So what do we do is whatever you written here, no, in B, in the seam, what what letters given? B. So uh, the answer is A B A B. Okay, this is the rhyming scheme. Got that now? The rhyming scheme is A B A B. Got that now? So that's how you are going to write. So in case if this question is asked to you, that's how you must write. Rhyming word should not be taken from inside the poem. It should be taken end of the sentence, whatever is given there. That only is a thing or rhyming words. And rhyming words, if you know, then rhyming scheme is very, very easy. It should be denoted by small letters, right? Hope you this uh, video is very helpful to you. And uh, please go through it and learn all the book exercise and grammar, whatever is given. Okay. See you next class. Do your exams well. Thank you.